If you're a funnel designer and you're struggling to get clients, then maybe you need a little bit more fancier marketing material instead of maybe posting a funnel image that looks like everybody else's, kind of like this, and you want to turn that into a video instead to post on social media looking like this, then make sure you stay to the end of this video because I'm going to show you the tutorial and the template that we created for our students inside of Full-Time Funnel Designer uh, showing you how to do that and it's just ready to plug and play and you just upload the image and it will render out and export a video for you that you can post to get more clients because you know a lot of people ask me how do you stand out on social media Ghosten and how do you you know get these dream clients that pay you premium and thousands and thousands when you're kind of looking like everybody else so this is one way to do that with this video template and so let me show you that tutorial right now and then i'll see you back here all right guys so in this video what i want to show you is how to turn a funnel image like this one into a video like this so it's gonna zoom in and this is a template by the way so all you have to do is upload the image it's gonna zoom out and then you can put like course funnel book funnel lead funnel whatever and either your logo or a text that says design by and your name so pretty cool you can also change the colors of the background you can change the font you can add your own background to it if you want as well so so you need a software called premiere pro it's adobe if you don't want to use it forever you can cancel it but i'm using it for simple edits like this yeah you don't have to have any skills i'm going to show you how to do this so all you do is you go to uh, the project and you can see three folders i'm just going to put this in this view and you'll see edit files and final okay so files is where we have the template so don't touch that but you actually want to touch final and edit so inside of final we're going to choose the size of the funnel the dimensions kind of how long the funnel is so if it's 1920 times you know 2500 if it's a shorter funnel and i can show you what that would look like so i'm going to double click here okay and it'll pop in here so i can then go here and click play and if something is confusing you can just rewind and watch the video again so now you can see it's kind of different because it's a shorter funnel so the logo will be below and the funnel type above so if i double click 5000 it's gonna open a separate tab here so i can close the other one and i can play this one if i want to use this one right and you can see in the beginning kind of how long it is so if i want to showcase you know you don't always have to showcase the entire landing page it's more like hey here's a beautiful funnel hire me if you want the funnel like this that's the goal of, of these videos so i'm i'm just gonna go with 5000 there are also 7500 a little bit longer and 10,000. but like i said i'm gonna go with 5000. So that's it for final and files. So now all we gotta do is go into edit. First, I'm gonna upload my actual funnel, right? So I'm gonna go to 5,000, yes. Okay, so I'm gonna go here and you can see it opened a separate tab. And now what I'm gonna do is just drag my image in here. So remember how I said you can go here and take a screenshot of this. So I would then just make it more like this. I would then go on fire shot and capture entire page and you'll see a scroll down and capture a screenshot of the page. So I don't have to do anything. I just have to, to save the page as a PNG image. Okay, and then I can upload it to Premiere Pro. So there we go. So I have it here and I'm just gonna drag it here and go here and just drag it out like that so it's the same length. So now if I play this, in fact, one thing I want to do first is you go up to effect controls. I can scale it. If I want to have it bigger or smaller, I can do that because it's marked. So there you can see and now it's good, probably like that. And then here's up or down. So I can go here, right? I want to start at the top. There we go. And then here would be to the left or right. So Okay, so now we have, if I go to final, right? That's where you preview it. You can see that it's changed it. So now, because it's a template, it's gonna play that image that I uploaded to the funnel. And I uploaded it inside of edit. Again, if it's confusing, you just go back and watch this video again. That's the funnel, okay? You wanna choose the same size as you did in final. So now I wanna go to insert logo here. So I can actually type this. I'm just gonna double click it and I could type in Gusten 
and now you can see it's too big so what i want to do is click here and then click v and then as i'm clicking this i can go here and make it smaller so that it fits inside of this box because it has to fit inside of this box if i want to make it designed by Gusten, i can just i'm using command c on a mac now we have two of them just gonna drag that down here and this i'm gonna change to i'm gonna double click it and change to design by again too big so i'm gonna click v let's make that a little bit smaller awesome now say i wanted to have a logo here instead i would just open my folder let me uh, drag in a logo here real quick there we go i'm gonna drag it in here boom like this drag it right there and then now delete logo and now again i click v then double click this and i can make it smaller because again i want to fit inside of the box and boom there we go so again, going back to the text, in case you want to use the text instead and you want to change the font, you can do that by going to captions. So I'm going to highlight this and I'm going to go inside here. So, you know, we have that Montserrat attached here in the, in the folder link is below this video and you can go in there and pick something else. But let's say I want to use Neutro or I want to use Nexa Bold or next a light I could do that make it smaller something like that okay so now we have the logo as well we have final and now I want to go into funnel type so then I'm gonna click that and I'm just gonna change this to say like course funnel okay I'm gonna do the background and so in the background, you can drag in a background image here and a little change. But what I want to do is just update these two. So I'm going to go to like bluish, I like something dark like that. Boom. And then this one, double click this one. Okay, we're going to test this. So now again, we're going to click final. Always want to preview it. See what it looks like. You're going to click final. And now you just click space. And it's gonna play the video. Zoom out. Leap, uh, course funnel by Ghosten. So designed by Ghosten. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So I could still change everything if I wanted to. But if I want to render it now, I just go up to Premiere, File, Export, Media. So you want to be inside of Final in the tab here when you're doing it. And then you go to format if it's not saying like this you want to change this to h.264 and a preset match source high bitrate yeah that's good use maximum render quality yes and just export it because now it's going to export as mp4 which is video so then you know you can use that to uh, upload it on social media so i'm going to do that so yeah guys that's pretty much it if you have any questions let me know in the facebook group but i'm excited for you to test this out and again make sure that you watch this video from start to finish to understand it what to change where to change it because the first time might be a little bit tricky but then it's super easy and it's super helpful again four types of funnels with you know different lengths of the landing page or funnels pretty awesome right and as you can see it's not complicated and like I said in the beginning of this video, we give this out to everybody inside of Full-Time Funnel Designer. And so, yeah, hopefully this was helpful. If you're not in the course, consider joining. And if not, make sure you subscribe with the post notifications on, like this video, so it will reach more people, inspire me to create more free material for you here on YouTube. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.